This chapter gave us the tools we need to look at the data in our files. Let's start by opening up the ice rink example file here for chapter 7. Click open. Imagine that we were given this AutoCAD drawing by our supervisor so that we can take some measurements on it and help make some construction estimates, something that's very practical and often done. So that's what we're going to do for this chapter project. AutoCAD can be used for more than just drawing things. Once something is drawn or modeled, we can use the CAD to get real life information about things very quickly. And we can even perform some calculations. We need to know the area of the ice rinks. We have three of them here. So let's open up the properties palette. Press Control 1 to open it up. Now let's select the outer shape of the rink and read it off. Right here. It's a closed polyline. So we can get the area very quickly and instantly right here. Now this is in square units and for our sake of argument that's all we care about. We don't really care what those units are, just that they're in some sort of unit. So we see here that one area is 17,221 square units. All three rinks should be the same size. Well let's pick them all. We still have this one selected. If you've unselected it, go ahead and pick it. Select the second rink, and now the third rink. And now we see that the area is still the same for all three. One thing you can't do with a properties palette is get a cumulative area of polylines. Now, hatches you can, but we don't have enough hatches to add everything up. Well, we could do some basic math and just multiply this number by three, and there you go, but we don't want to do the math, do we? So let's get the total. Let's use our measure geom command. Come over here to the home tab on the ribbon into the utilities panel and click on the measure arrow and click area. Now remember, we want to add all three areas up together. So you have to start with the add function. So type in the letter A for add and now O for object. No need to pick all of this. We'll just select our objects. Once all three have been picked, we'll press enter. And we see our individual area, or the perimeter, and our total area for all three, which is what we were looking for. Press enter. Let's exit out of here again. Press F2. And we have our total area right here. Now we can copy this out paste it into an email, and send it off to our boss. Project done, we're ready to go home. <laughs> Not quite. What's the perimeter of the rink? It's like, oh, okay. Well, how are we gonna do that? Well, we need to find the distance. We want to find multiple points. So make sure you type in M for multiple points, but not until your first point. If you start off typing it in, AutoCAD just gives you that, hey, invalid point, what were you doing? You dummy, uh, do it the right way. <laughs> so we pick our first point. Now we can tell it M for multiple. Or you can click right here on the command line. And we just want a quick estimate here so we won't go through all of the details, just the major ones. Remember, your scroll wheel can pan, zoom, and move you about while you're working inside this command, which is extremely useful. I suggest that's the way you do it, as opposed to using the pan or zoom commands transparently, as we discussed previously in other chapters. But using these tools in the middle of a command for something like this makes everything so much easier. Pick your last point. Press enter, and there's our distance, or our perimeter, 1,477 units and some change left over. Now that we have this information, we need to clean up this drawing for our boss because he wants us to email it to the client. So let's make sure that it's as small as it can be and that we don't give the client anything that they don't need. So start the purge command. Let's make sure the purge nested items have been selected and we do want to get rid of everything so hit the purge all purge all items 
click close and there we go so now we're ready to send this file once we've saved it and get it to the client in a small and efficient manner oh wait a minute the boss just came up and he says that he wants to add another rink into the plan for the client because they requested it well that happens all the time we need to get our blocks and our layers back okay well we haven't closed the file yet so it's still safe even though we saved it so what we need to do is go back to the undo and get rid of the purge all right now let's test it out if we type the purge command in again yep everything's still listed we're good to go save the file and we're ready to draw another rink but of course then we're going to have to get new measurements